the Boodles May Festival is always very special for us because we've had a long association with Chester and we've been fortunate enough to win two Chester Cups in the past. Chester's a very unique track and you do need a certain type of horse to go there and, and also you need a you need a decent draw in most of the races as well. As, um, it's a very tight track. Bulwark was our first Chester Cup winner many years ago and he was owned by Peter Legro and uh, a gentleman that had introduced to racing, Dr. Marwan Kukash. Dr. Marwan went on for many, many years and has been probably the biggest supporter of Chester races in the last 10, 12 years. Uh, he's had a lot of winners there and he supports us well. And uh, it was a big day and it not only helped my career on the flat get going, but uh, it certainly helped Marwan Kukash's ownership on the flat uh, where become a real passion for him there. Bullock up on the outside with Jim Crowley, hang over the inside but win. Magic Circle winning at Chester was surprising um, with, the, uh, with the ease in which he won, but he was a very talented horse um, and he'd run the previous year there very well, so it was really a question of he, uh, he acted on the track, so getting him there um, and, and getting a little bit of luck and running in the race. As it turned out, he was um, way ahead of the handicapper that day. It was, it was a great day, one, a most memorable one. Fran Berry has pulled the rabbit out of the hat here and Magic Circle runs riot to win the 188 Bet Chester Cup. You know, when one of, your, one of your principal owners wants to run everything he owns at uh, Chester, uh, you end up spending a lot of time there and there's, there's a lot of good people, it's a great track. Um, they offer great prize money and, uh, and there's a great atmosphere and uh, they generally have pretty good ground as well so what more, could you, what more could you look for? It's a great place to be and it's a great place to go racing. We've got a few entries in the Tote Chester Cup this year and uh, obviously the first one is the Grand Vizier who was second in the race last year. Uh, I was a little bit concerned he wasn't quite fit enough to, to be at his best that day um, and he ran an absolute stormer, um, went on to run well at Ascot. Uh, he would be in good nick this year. I think probably where would want him. Um, he recently had a, a little uh, blowout at Wolverhampton and uh, he's come out of that well. He's, um, he's a little bit of a monkey rachoon. He won at Royal Ascot last year and he comes back to the Chester Cup on a fair mark. The important thing with Rashoon is to get out of the stalls because if you don't at Chester, then it becomes a bit of a disaster and he can just be a little bit tardy out of the stalls. So his whole race predominantly is around how he comes out of the stalls. Um, William Buick managed to do a great job on him at Ascot and got him out and in the, in the van. And if he's out and in the van, he'll have a great chance. If he's out and well behind, it's very, very tough. Um, particularly at the, the level he's handicapped to, to be getting up there and taking on the leaders. It's going to be amazing to be back there with the thousands of people in the stands and the, the noise and, the, uh, and, and just the, the general atmosphere at Chester. It's a real party atmosphere and there's some great racing, some great horses and it's a great spectacle. Can't wait to be back.